What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Bar for Life. Today we are doing a crazy cocktail. This cocktail is by a friend of mine named Sean Bray. He created it for Cole's French dip. It's called the Dodecadaiquiri. Do you know what Dodecadaiquiri means? It means 12. It's the 12 rum daiquiri. Let's get into it and then we'll talk about it. First thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of lime juice, and then our 12 rum blend. I think that the concept of an infinity bottle uh, was first bestowed upon me from this cocktail. And I believe that when Sean created this cocktail, we were actually just getting rid of rums. Uh, and I don't think that you guys are really gonna necessarily wanna go make this particular one, although I am gonna tell you every rum that's in here, uh, but this is gonna be a real nice discussion about making your own infinity bottle. And we're just gonna do two ounces of our infinity rum blend. You could also call this the infinity daiquiri, I guess, but I like the dodecadaiquiri because there is 12 rums in here. I'm gonna add some ice, add our cocktail, and give it a nice hard shake. And then we're gonna give it a nice strainy pants into our glass. And uh, we have our nice wheel here. Let's go on the side like that, but first I'm gonna give the old sippy poo. Ooh, fantastic. You know what I probably should do, Maris, is I should probably taste this rum blend kind of on its own. Uh, I'm gonna have to read off to you guys what's in this, in this rum blend because uh, I forgot everything that went into it. 12 rums is a lot of rums to remember. And I don't think I'll be able to remember it. Uh, the daiquiri though is a really nice drink for this particular reason because it just features the rum so well. It's literally just lime juice, you know, balanced out by your simple syrup and then it features whatever rum you're gonna do. So what's great about this drink is that every rum that you put in there is gonna be a little bit different. Now the concept of an infinity bottle, there's kind of two schools of thought about how you make this. One school of thought says that you just use this bottle to put all your short ends in and uh, just anything that you're almost out of, you want to throw into this bottle and kind of kind of blend it that way. Uh, the other one is a careful blending process where you really think about what goes in there and taste through the bottle and, uh, and really uh, kind of blend the flavors together. Uh, this is done with whiskey a lot. Now, I like the second version better than the first because when you're just putting all your short ends in there and you're not really tasting through the rums or tasting through whatever spirit you're making into an infinity uh, bottle, you can easily overwhelm other flavors and you can ruin your infinity bottle that way. This is especially true with whiskey, uh, but I think it'll also hold true, maybe a little bit less so for rums. Um, so in this bottle, let me tell you what's in here. Is it all dark rooms or is it mixed? No, it's a mix of dark and light room. But uh, in this bottle is Appleton Estate 12 year, Atlantico Reserve, Bacardi 8, Eldorado 5 year, Florida Cagna Extra Seco, Gosling's Black Seal, Matasulam 15, Plantation 3 Star, Plantation Pineapple, uh, Sailor Jerry, uh, Smith and Cross, and Ray and Nephew uh, 126. That is all of the rums in this bottle. Now, I don't think that you guys are going to go and make your own, uh, uh, they're going to make this particular one and get all of those rums. This, this would be a very expensive cocktail uh, and proposition, but a lot of you guys are people who collect rums. And so when you get down to your little last dregs, or if you're buying a lot of different types of rums and trying different cocktails, once you get down to your little last dregs, uh, you might want to just start blending your own infinity bottle and seeing how it goes and tasting through it. Uh, I really like this idea. I'm glad that I have this thing. It, it, it made a fantastic daiquiri and Marius has something to say. Take it away, Marius. Uh, these are all rums that we have used and use frequently. So if you are watching this channel a lot, you might have all of these rums. Right. There's a couple that we don't, that we've never used though. Atlantico right. Reserve, we've never used in a cocktail on this channel. We haven't used Matasulam 15. Uh, but everything else, pretty much, uh, we would we would have on hand. Yes, uh, Appleton Estate we do. Uh, yeah, Atlantico Reserve, no. Matasulam 15, no. Everything else we've had. So basically those two rums were, were new additions. But I wanted to create what Sean Bray created at the bar. 
Uh, but you can do this with literally any blend of rums you want to do, which is kind of what's awesome about it. And you just make your own rum blend. I love, I, I just love the idea of the infinity bottle. Uh, let's actually taste the rum, shall we? Um, and kind of describe the flavor profile. Is it overwhelming? Is it not? Mm. You know, it smells like rum. It's like, that's how I would describe it. Mm, it yeah, how you tastes like describe rum. It. It's very, it's like a very interesting flavor profile, you know, because it, I can taste like some of those hogo notes and I can taste like dark sugar notes in there. Um, there's a little residual bitterness on the finish. Uh, I'm getting notes of like pineapple and banana, dark sugar, vanilla, maybe a little overripe pear or something. I mean, it's just very nicely blended. And what's really nice is that I actually get a little residual heat, even though most of these uh, these rums that are in this bottle are not overproof rum or anything. Uh, the what is the proof? Ray and Nephew is the overproof. It's 126 proof. What's that? What is the proof? I couldn't tell you the proof of every single rum, but they're probably going to range between 80 and 90 proof. The the Smith and Cross is 114. I can tell you that. Obviously, the Ray and Nephew is 126, but I couldn't tell you just off the top of my head the proof of every single rum. Uh, it's nice. It's not actually too hot, you know. I think that this particular blend kind of adds this really nice, like you get some tropical notes and some sort of tropical fruit in there, but then you also get some really heavy dark sugar notes. Uh, you get a little bit of that Jamaican hogo from the from the Jamaican rum that's in there, but uh, it, it's ultimately it's a really nice blend and it made a fantastic daiquiri. Uh, so there it is, guys, the Doe Deca daiquiri. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. We've got cool stuff going on there. Uh, check out our, you, uh, check out our. I was gonna say YouTube channel, but you're on our YouTube channel, so you already checked it out and you should hit like and subscribe. But what you should check out is our website, theeducatedbarfly.com, where we have uh, a virtual bottle program. So if you wanna help us on the show a little bit, you can do it that way by giving us a bottle and we'll shout out your name when we use it, which has been working out pretty good. We've gotten a lot of uh, bottles lately. I wanna thank everyone who sent them in. And uh, if you like these sexy aprons that I am wearing, check them out at staggerleadgoods.com. Alfred Ramos makes them by hand. I've been in his workshop. Uh, he does a fantastic job. Uh, and I will see you guys in another time.